Oh my god. Holy crap. <laughs> this is crazy. This house is badass. It's awesome. Oh, look at the sign. I love it. Seize the day. This is our freaking house. <laughs> For the dog. So there's going to be plenty of space down here. It's definitely big enough that the dogs are going to be comfortable. Over here, we have a drawer. Dog food. Oh, that is so cute. Uh, you like to have guests. So what we did was make this actually leaf out. What? And then there's legs. Pull down. Now it turns into your kitchen table. This is so awesome. Cool. Tim actually gave me a hand with this office storage unit. you got little spaces for your gizmos. And then when you're ready for it, you know, this opens up and you have your little makeup counter. Oh my god. Normally this would just be a bedroom, but fortunately we managed to fit the bed underneath your office. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. And then of course we've got the bathroom. It's not a large space, but it has everything that a normal sized bathroom would have. A couple of big pieces in a tiny house serve to normalize the space. Couches in general are tremendously underutilized space. So what we've done is actually give you a whole wow. area where you can store anything that's unsightly. I want to show you this little ottoman, which is great seating for one, right? But that wouldn't be good for a tiny house. Instead, this is seating for five. <laughs> yeah, it's all about taking advantage of every inch of space that's available to us. The cushions here on the side come right off like this. Slide down, lock into place, have a seat. Wow, this is comfortable. When people aren't here, you just put it away. Yeah. It only takes up space for one. That's so That's cool. cool. Right? Let's get into the kitchen. It takes up this whole wall here. You got a full fridge. 